Sit. Sit. Sit here. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, sit, sit, sit. I need that space just for you. Just for you. Hi, Lee. Um, hi, Virgos. This is a video for your April 2019 astrology, universal astrology message. It's a mouthful to say universal astrology message. I'll, I'll get it. <laughs> so we're going to shuffle this deck. Um, I think this is my sixth uh, astrology video. Mm -hmm. Hi, kitty. Okay, there we go. How are you guys doing, Virgo? Charging my tarot deck with Virgo vibes. Charging my deck with the Virgo vibes. For this month of April 2019, what energy? What's the message for the astrology sign Virgo? No matter if you're like Virgo Moon, Virgo Sun, Virgo Venus in Virgo, or Virgo in Mars, or you know, whatever. If it resonates, it resonates. If it does not, then I'm pretty sure you'll find like other videos that may resonate to your liking. So if it does resonate and you have your own stories to share you're welcome to leave a comment and let me know what you think about this reading I can't I can't I can't okay getting there okay got it okay one two three four five six Seven. <laughs> Cat's giving me the stare. <laughs> First card is Five of Swords. Um, why is it saying that you might have a... Usually this card like denotes someone's birthday or a new transition, a new beginning. But it's in reverse. It's in reverse. <clears throat> You got the Magician card. Oh, you got the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse card. You got the Two Cups in Reverse. You have the Five Swords upright. You got the Temperance in Reverse. <gasps> Yo! What's happening to you guys? Why do you have the Magician and the High Priestess together? <gasps> what is happening? There goes. Who are you? Are you a spy? feel like you're a spy. Are you like a company, espionage company thingy? I feel, I, I can feel like, I can feel something. I love to take out the mermaid cards after I do this rider weight, traditional rider weight cards. Meow meow. Virgo spy. Are you a spy, Virgo? You, you got secrets. This card is all about secrets right now. You've been fighting a secret war. What are you fighting? You are fighting a secret war. I think you've been challenged. Oh hello. Oh hello. I think I think the Virgo has been challenged before. Hmm, are you a Virgo? No, right? You're not a Virgo. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Why am I singing that song? System of a down. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. What is Figaro about? I just watched Pinocchio and I think one of the cat in the character in that Pinocchio is like Fido or Figaro. Hmm? 
Is it? Okay. One, two, three mermaid cards out. Mm, first card is vulnerability. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be tender. Second card is endurance. Keep going. And the third card is divination, prophecy, fate, destiny, future, fortune. So you have divination. Are you guys some kind of healers or something? Are you guys are you guys doing some research or something? It feels like it feels like you are doing this undercover espionage. And it might be in certain industry that you're doing it in. I feel like I feel like if I'm looking at this, I feel like you have I don't know why, but I sense you know that Hercules movie where in order to visit Hades you have to cross the underworld and you have to take the boat to meet Hades. I feel like you've crossed the underworld and maybe, 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 maybe you've been granted like a a magic. Like you've been granted a special set of magical abilities that helps you to fight a war. And I don't know what that war is. I mean, for me, I have my own storyline, but I'm not going to reveal my storyline for you guys. Um, because as a healer, some of us have to do like ancestral healing and we have to like go through initiation, which this card represents initiation. I think your magic comes from you being open. Your magic comes from you being open. I feel like you've divorced, you've divorced people, places. You've broken up with things that in previous time you were, you had like some connection to or a bond with or a contract with or a commitment to you've broken up with that energy and you're gonna win some kind of fight or you are winning the fight and then the mermaid card is saying keep going and this card is saying divination and then this card temperance in reverse i'll let you know what it means later the high priestess is also like high magic i've learned it i mean i have seen it like but then virgo what are you doing in your life what are you doing in your life maybe i should make Are you guys practicing magic? This this is a very literal, a very literal. I think you're having an initiation this month. I think Virgo, you're you are maybe. For example, like if you uh, learn Reiki and you have like the Reiki master, you get certified, that's a form of initiation. So maybe there are things that you've been doing, you've been learning a new skill. This is a magician card where he has a lot of those tools like pentacles, cups, wand, sword. It feels like maybe you went back to school and you armed, weaponed yourself with new knowledge and you're ready to take over the world with your new knowledge and why is this 
and the bears. And the things like I feel like some some kind of like disappointment in your past with your disability to renew a contract or renew a commitment because you weren't good enough or you know like I feel like a con uh, a company that doesn't want to give you the the long term position because you don't have the skills or knowledge but you are now you you now have it you now have you are now capable and ready to to build what you want so you know when when a door closes another one opens you accepted that the door closed in the past and that's why this card is in reverse is like you were blocked from going to where you want and you couldn't do it and you had to master up courage to find your own authentic skills oh wow okay i feel like you know like a school dropout and then they realize they're good at something else or you may be a college dropout and then you realize that you don't you like college anyway you're going to do something else so i feel like you you didn't finish some things or you you maybe even you you quit your job because you want to do something else and the prospect of having abundance i don't know why you're afraid of actually making your dreams come true hmm you're you're feeling anxious you're feeling afraid of being recognized you be you're afraid of being recognized for your magic that you're really the real deal you're the real deal like you're afraid of people recognizing you like there is something inside you that is like gripping in fear Whew. your stomach is churning in fear like you're you want to do this amazing thing but you're scared it's not gonna happen that like you're scared you can't make it come true or you're scared that you don't know how you don't know you don't know what to expect from doing this thing so i think that you have no like you 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 the faith you have to believe in faith um you have to let go of your fear and be vulnerable and you have to believe in miracles i think because you're a work a, a person who can tap into some kind of like a magical reality or a or some tap some type of um, a unique set of skills that initiated you into some kind of like i i feel it is a very competitive industry for you where you're at that's why that's why you get rejected maybe because you're not in their eyes like good enough but you're getting initiated this month Ooh, you're getting initiated this month or you're getting recognized this month expansion miracles here is at the energy of expansion it says spread your wings and soar share your message and shine your light show the world what you're made of expansion there is some there is some thing about you expanding your unique talents this month and you're scared <laughs> uh, i can feel you scared i think 
we have to turn it into excitement. I feel like this energy, I know that it was a uh, reverse, but if you see this card, it represents partnership. So there might be some type of collaboration happening about you sharing your unique talents with some some people who you benefit from sharing it with and you're going to be in control you're in control this card is like you will want you will win the pettiness petty fights petty petty discipline. like you will be in control of your magic other people can't tell you how to use your magic um And you have to believe in miracles. I feel like for you, what I need to emphasize is that you need to be vulnerable to believe in miracles. You need to be vulnerable. You cannot let your fear stop you from growing or receiving this bountiful energy. I feel like this is like a winning, a winning, a winning contract, a winning something you're doing is amazing i don't know what it is let me just keep keep talking about this i'm going to pull out this dragon card or oh, maybe i should pull out this card first i'm going to pull out the life purpose card first because it feels like this is to do with your passion your life's passion um it's like you know when a when a newbie like you know when harry potter first goes to hogwarts he's like a first year student and then suddenly he gets recognized dumbledore recognizes him as like the strongest wizard in the world it feels like you're you're on a journey of being initiated i feel like you're the secret weapon of your industry. I feel like people look down on you because they thought you were just talking crap. <laughs> but, um, and then they isolated you and then you were left alone to, to, you know, tend to your own ideas and you built your own ideas and people are starting to People, are, people will be shocked to see that you were not a, a loser, that like you're not a failure. That like all those times that they thought you were a failure, you've been doing something so important behind the scenes that they didn't care about it. They really think you're a failure because they really project their ideas about themselves to you because they put themselves in your shoe and they can't see anything. Because it's not their future to live. Because it's not their future. But you win. You will win the fight. You are winning the fight. Despite them not seeing how capable you are, you're still damn capable and damn good. And you're being initiated this time. Let's see what Life Purpose card is going to tell you. Music. Are you like a failed artist? but you've been building your music or something. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. I know this may not resonate to everybody because not everybody who's a Virgo, I think some of you are musicians. Some of you are musicians. Why am I feeling some very popular... Ugh. I've had a few musicians working with me before a few actors too I'm gonna pull out the dragon let me see because I feel like there's seven different personality with this Virgo there's def seven different groups of people with different messages because at first what did I say at first 
I feel like there's a corporate spy. Like, I don't know if it's a bad thing. It doesn't sound bad. It may sound bad, but it doesn't feel bad. I feel like it's like you're toppling down a sociopath in your company. And at the same time, there's another a group of Virgos who are like, um, they get rejected from having a long-term employee contract. And then they had to like renew their skills and then um, or they quit their job to just make it on their own and then they're finally like winning that 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 journey of making it on their own and then they're initiated into like maybe you are becoming your own uh, entrepreneur or CEO or boss of your company it's so deep I cannot even tell you like this is like the deepest is deep. This reading is very deep. It's almost like I thought this would be like Scorpio vibes, but not really. Air Dragon helps you rise above earthly matters. I feel like you have a lot of angels working with you. But also music. Music is air energy also. Music is air frequency. And you have the air dragon. Either you're a singer, you're a musician, either you are a person who speaks the truth. If you say by clearing your pathway, so that's a good to have. Maybe because you're doing something dangerous. Air and Water Dragon helps you connect to higher frequencies. I feel like you have a divine work. This is so exciting doing a reading for Virgos. I feel like you have a divine work. Trust your intuition, develop your psychic abilities, be open to enlightenment, express your inner song. I'm going to pull out some more mermaid cards. Um, I have like seven different Virgos here. But you guys have the same mission. You guys have the same media intermediary energy and the intermediary energy is that the first thing is that you're doing something like either a divine work or a holy work or you're a missionary or you are um, um, what is a gospel artist is like a music that brings faith to people. That is like one of the intermediary energy. Um, the second one is that you're working with angels. You're working with higher elemental beings. Um, I think I can see that you're quite religious. You're quite, you're, you're a deeply faithful person and you're quite religious. Then I can see that you are this this deck doesn't show the turmoil you've been through, but you've you've got over it. You understood that the turmoils you you've gone through build your skills, build and harnessed your journey to being initiated as a high priestess or being like you know when you are pushed onto a stage and that means that you're the magician energy that you're being pushed on the stage and you're expected to perform. Oh, being, being pushed on the stage and they expected to perform. It doesn't necessarily mean just music. Telling the truth, a public speaker maybe, 
um, an actor, a musician, a singer, um, somebody who works in a corporate company where you need to represent, you need to present your ideas, you need to present like, you need to present a speech. Like, I believe there's also an activist for Virgos. Are you an activist? And you're showing the cards to these people. And you are making an alliance. Making an alliance that you are in control of. You're in control of a new alliance with certain society or group of people you're doing very important work on earth <clears throat> you're doing very important work on earth i'm just gonna look up if virgos are famous activists <laughs> because i i can't activist Virgo sign because I feel like you're like this justice oh so it says here Virgo is industrious individuals who are born under the signs are arguably the most fit to serve others they are not only meticulous you are compelled to think through tasks and offer solution that proves just how good you are at problem serving You are very meticulous. Oh, you're a humanitarian. You're an activist, a humanitarian. Wow. You're, you're doing something beautiful with your life on earth as if like you're God's king or your God's queens or your God's warriors. Like if you're on the chess pieces, you're the most important chess pieces on the board. And most of all, uh, you're a piece that is like a secret weapon. That's why I say, are you guys a spy? Are you guys an espionage? Are you guys a... Uh, uh, okay. It hits home to me. <laughs> I feel like I resonate to you guys. Um, because I'm doing something important in, in my passion. Mm. Communicate honestly brings inspiration and hope. See life from a higher perspective. Trust your intuition. Express your inner song. I think, I think you guys benefit from music overall. Like you, you love music. There's two of cups and two of cups. You're definitely... You're definitely... There is some type of uh, association. You're gonna start some association or you're going to join parties or you're going to do something that makes it official or something like for example if there were no such thing as workers union and then they created workers union because there's a virgo behind it there's a humanitarian and activist who cares about the workers well-being health care the 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 um if there are retirements so i feel like maybe you're starting a new organization with somebody but you're in charge. Um, you are being supported by the mermaids to keep going. Divination. I think you've planned it out very well. You've planned it out. The high priestess can see. And in this energy of divination, I think you've plan it out very well 
you plan like even if you don't know it your your failure in the past is a divine plan it it made you be where you are is, is there any more cards that i have to pull out unicorn is done yeah, 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 yeah. It says here too, partnership. You're creating something new. But you have to believe in the miracle. I mean, I think you already... I think you... You may have been lost in being patient too much and you thought that it never happened. But I think this month is going to happen for you. I'm so excited for the miracles. I mean, I resonate too with the Virgo vibes. Guys, this is exciting. This is really exciting. All your hard work is gonna pay off. Gosh. I think that you're so patient and enduring that it seems that like a sidetrack, a negative sidetrack to it, not so negative, but it's just something that you lost track about is that you're you're finally settling in you know what if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen something happens suddenly it happens so all you have to do is just even if you don't know what's going to happen keep going do your thing eventually you'd come to a status where you're recognized and you're accepted and you're initiated into a new world and that's the best thing about you because there is miracles magician high priestess there's magic you're, you're manifesting magic and miracle this month and this is a card of expansion. You're actually expanding as well. Okay, last thing I can say about the Temperance card. <sighs> Another word for it. I think you have a good eye in things in general and you always I feel like you're an earth healer I feel you're like a, I feel like your energy harmonizes behind the scenes and that's why maybe it took a lot of time for you to be in the spotlight because I feel like you're gonna be initiated into the spotlight but it took a long time for you to um, to let go of being behind the scene because I feel like you're always healing and working behind the scenes. As I said, are you a spy or you're a espionage? Are you doing some secret work that, like, you know, are you toppling down the government or something? Or are you like exposing, are you a whistleblower or something? As you can see, there's actually so many whistleblowing activity for the past five years. Hmm. So um, temperance energy, I feel like you're always a harmonious energy activator. You're always inspired to create harmony in the surrounding. And it had been like your major struggle trying to keep the harmony and you're gonna get to a point where this temperance energy the harmony energy will people recognizes that you bring harmony people are not recognizing you as like a person in the background behind the scenes people are going to recognize you that you really want to bring harmony into the world into the present and people will see it happening people will start to recognize that all this time people are going to open their eyes to see that all this time you 
you are doing something really important and it took you so long to to get to the point where you're being recognized and rewarded and um, established and people can see that journey you took to be that initiated high priestess and they can see the harmony you brought for people if you are a healer to my fellow healer virgoan healer humanitarian activist whistleblowers espionage star seeds if you are a star seed too um you're awesome from a fellow virgo moon to you guys to virgo whichever area of virgo you have if you resonate that's amazing um i hope you can tell me what you're up to this sounds like a very interesting magical magical thing like it seems like something brand new is happening to you in your life because it also says here expansion Ooh, pretty so i hope that this reading um helps you see your month of april and helps you to have more confidence to believe that keep going endurance just do your thing just keep at it and believe in magic be more vulnerable like believe in miracles yeah you have the miracle card so there's magic miracles i feel like the virgos are finally given credit for the things that they've been <laughs> for the things that they've been sacrificing and doing without people recognizing it and people are starting to see that you're really something you're really something you're really amazing something and there's just some new partnership in the future for you there's some new association organization company or a partnership as well as like the unicorn shows this partnership there's new teamwork people are going to support you in your vision I, I feel I foresee it yes good oh my god this is interesting to do this astrology sign readings uh, where is my so let me know what you think um, that's about it if you feel like you want to work with me in a session or have a psychic reading by me, you can go check out my website and um, go through those details. I will see you next time for now. I hope that your month of April is going to be as amazing, as even more amazing as what the cards are describing. So my name is Meredith Mindros. I'm a universal healer and a peace visionary. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.